Okay, guys, so I'm sorry I had to cut off the video. And this Queen of Swords here, or whatever, you're going to have justice. If someone did you wrong in the past, you're going to have justice in that. Or someone want justice towards you. Angel of Integrity. Um... Nine of Wands, they're determined to come back towards you and apologize is what I'm getting. Two of Wands, they're making progress right now or they want to make progress like to fix things or to come towards you and bring justice. Eight of Wands, due to the journey because now they see you as their lover or their soulmate. Due to the journey, eight of ones, yeah. And then ten of cups, um, queen of sword. This could be a water sign. They look and see you and feel at home with you. You could work with this person or this could be your past life partner, your soulmate, or your twin flame. Seven of cups. They see you as having options now, or they had options in the past that ruined this journey, this connection, and now they want to come back and bring justice towards this situation. They're stalking you. Page of Pentacles. It could be to do with money or whatever, or they feel that you're lucky. That you have the book of wisdom and knowledge. That you have a lot of abundance within you or whatever. They look at you as though you're an angel. And they feel that you have a lot of a lot of spiritual giftings or whatever that you can use to get abundance. And you hold the book of wisdom and knowledge. But death, angel, trans transformation. This could have been a Scorpio that you put a death to. Someone has a crush on you. It's a Scorpio. See? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Someone has a crush on you. It's a Scorpio. Let's get some cards here. Five of Wands. They passionately feel like that. They're being tested. Their faith is being tested. Or... They feel that they're that you're testing them or they could be trying to test you to see if you're gonna fall into their gimmicks in their games. Knight of Wands, this person could passionately want to come towards you and take action. Knight of Wands due to the connection. This could be a fire sign. Feel that they tested you or they did something that was jacked up they feel tested and tried tried by you this could be someone that you recently broke up with or something or in the in the near the past you broke up with them like not long not long ago but Eight of Pentacles, dedication. I want to have sex with you. I have someone else, but I want I want it for one night stand. Eight of Pentacles. They this could be someone that you work on a job with, could be a co-worker, or it could be around in your community. Someone that wants you to work with them and have sex with them, but keep it as a secret. And y'all just make money together and act as though y'all work together as friends and be team players or something. But they want to have sex with you as well. Eight of Pentacles could be an earth sign. We can't. 
Oh, we can't be together. No, can we be together long term? So this is a person want a partnership with you. Two of Cups could be a water sign, but the judgment call on the past is going to come because they could have did you wrong or left you out in the cold, did a lot of jacked up stuff, had you in third parties, had options, um, was not trying to commit to you, um, didn't see you as someone they could commit to, um, thought lesser of you than they felt for themselves. Um, they were choosing other people like for money or what they could do for them. And now this person want to come back and have a partnership with you because a judgment call have came on their head. And so Okay, we're going to get some more cards. Here, we're going to put these back in there. And we're going to read a little bit. A few more messages. And then we're going to be done. What's up with the comics? What's up with the comics? What's up? Okay, leave this community now. <clears throat> so this is for the Cormics. What's up with the Cormics? Leave this community now. They're, they're stealing your abundance. So leave this community now. They're stealing your abundance. Stay awake at night. I stay awake at night thinking about you. Please accept me back. This is someone that you may have cut off and they stay awake at night. I don't know. It could be a Cormac. Celebrity stalking and stealing from you. Don't trust them. not here for love they're a con artist they're not here for love they're a con artist artist someone lying about cheating so all of these cards is cormic 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 so let's clarify and then we're going to go. We're going to start from this end. Right now, who, someone's lying and cheating. Who is this lying and cheating? I don't know. Uh, oh, ten of Wands. Someone is lying and cheating. It could be a person, Ten of Wands, that you see as a burden right now. Or they felt that you were a burden or this situation that they're lying and cheating about is becoming a burden because it's hidden right now. The world card, angel of success, the world's going to change some turn and someone's going to be successful or someone, it could be a burden for someone trying to lie and cheat and be manipulative and be silent hating or something like that because they see your success or something and it's burdening them. Like just watching you and seeing all the gifts or whatever that you got and whatever you're doing, like it's being a burden for them. And the world is going to change. Something's going to turn and change in your favor and you're going to be successful. So they're burdened by your success and they're... Bye, baby. Bye, 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 bye. Someone is lying about cheating. This could be a person that is a cheater. They lie. I know this is a fire sign. No, baby. Shut the door. Thank you. Yeah, shut the door. Not here for love. They're a corn artist. Not here for love. They're a corn artist. 
this could be a person that is nine of wands, a fire sign, could be a cheater or a player, and they're determined to pretend as though they love you because it says not here for love. They're a corn artist. Knight of Cups, this person could be working on their spirituality or want to work with you in some type of form or fashion. Seven of Pentacles, because they feel that you can help them on their spirituality or to learn lessons or something. Seven of Pentacles, this is a person that is coming trying to offer a commitment or this could be two people. One of them could be uh, quite young and could want to work on their spirituality or feel as though they need to work on their spirituality, but they could be a player. They have player energy in Seven of Pentacles visualizing, like committing to you. This person could be visualizing, committing to you, offering you a cup of love and committing to you because in the past they have been a player and they were spiritually blind, but they're working on their spirituality and um, they want to know more about the spiritual realm or whatever, but they feel that if you work with them or whatever, you help them or something, you teach them or they teach you and you're older or they're younger or they're older and you're younger or something of that nature, but they want to, King of Cups, offer a cup of a commitment to you somehow, some way. Celebrity stalking and stealing from you. Don't trust them. Who is this? Who is this? Six of Swords. This could be someone that you're trying to come up with a resolution about because you know that they have betrayed you and stuck you in your back and taken from you or took your kindness for weakness or whatever in. You know, didn't give anything that they're stalking you as well. So you're trying to come up with a resolution of if you want to leave or not. I stay awake at night thinking about you. Please accept me back. Page of Wands. This could be um, something told me that this go with the celebrity stalking and stealing from you. Don't trust them. Or whatever you were already in the energy of trying to figure out what you need to do about this situation. Page of Swan, page of Wands, this could be someone stalking you. They are stalking you. This is a page. Someone stalking you for your ideas and little birdies are flying around telling one to the other like things about you behind your back and trying to keep up with you and compete with you. And they want your ideas to steal your ideas. Four of Pentacles, these could be people that just do it for the money or for the public's eye. They want to be in control. They want to be number one all the time. They uh, do this all the time, like silent, silently, energetically. Like, and they want to be in control and be above everyone and win at all costs. And excuse me, guys, for the crying. And uh, this could be a person that haven't healed and that is also a narcissist. Stay, I stay awake at night thinking about you. Please accept me back. So who is this? Who is this? Ooh. The Empress, Angel of Abundance. This is someone that know that you're an Empress, know that you're a mother, know that you... Um, you plant seeds and they grow. Know that you are a guiding light. Know that you're loving, caring, kind mother. And that you're abundant or whatever. Whoever this person, who is this? This could be a Scorpio that you're guarded against. Uh, you put a death to this connection. Queen of Swords because you're guarded and you're working on your own and you're independent. Because this person did something jacked up that you did not like. And now you're in restriction towards them. Queen of Swords. Leave this community. Now they're still in your abundance. So someone needs to leave. And the devil did want to come out. But the justice card is here as well. 
jealousy or whatever. Um, you're going to have justice towards these people that's doing this. But for right now, it could be, yeah, because they want to take your abundance. They want to take your ideas. They want to take your manifestations. Angel of Magic, they know that you have the tools that is needed to manifest things. And they want it. Someone want a new beginning with you. Uh, angel of guidance or whatever because you make them happy or whatever but this person could have betrayed you or backstabbed you or whatever and you see them as shh and you see them as the devil two of swords endings or whatever and you ended that connection with them because you were juggling this back and forth back and forth or they were juggling you um, like with multiple choices and it was to do with money and sex or something of that nature. Justice just wants to come out. So you're going to have a justice towards that person. And, you know, right now you could just leave like from wherever you're at. Like if it's a work environment or it's something, whatever that you go, a job that you go to every day or it's a friend or Someone that you're close to, that you've been hanging out with for a while, or whatever, they are backstabbers and cheaters, and you know it already, and you're guarded towards them, and you don't want to befriend them anymore. You keep them at a distance, and like um, you're like in isolation from this person because of what they did to you, so you don't want to be a part of them right now. So, you know, it could even be a family member, a family, a friend, or whomever, but you don't want to deal with these people. So, you know, if you would just leave for a little while and then come back in the near future, it'll probably be better or whatever. Just go and focus on yourself, focus on your work, have a new beginning to do with yourself or whatever, um, you're going to be abundant because you are the empress anyways, regardless, no matter if you, but it's best right now that you leave because they are trying to steal your things and your ideas and they're competing with you, they're competing with you, so what's the spiritual message? Trust the truth will correct all errors in my mind. When a situation has been dedicated, Wally, to truth, peace is inevitable. So, you right now you could be feeling peaceful about the situation because you know the truth about people, these people, or this situation, and you're at peace with it, and you're moving on or whatever. So. Guys, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless. Have a great night.